Here we'll learn how to represent data, discrete data in fact, in bar charts. So again, we said discrete data means that we deal with whole numbers, not decimals or fractions. So we'll use the same scenario, the same context we had before, looking at the number of learners enrolled um, on level one, two or GCSE mass courses at a specific place. And we'll show the same data using a bar chart. So I'll start off by drawing what we call the horizontal axis. So it's horizontal, like the horizon. And I'll use a different colour. So there we have the horizontal axis. I'll try and move the camera a bit so that it looks exactly horizontal or closely. And then we have the vertical axis. Okay, so here on the horizontal axis, we'll show the different types, like we have here the different courses, whereas on the vertical axis, we typically show the numbers. So they start from zero normally, and we've got to go up to 604, so that's the highest number that we have. So we've got to think of maybe 650 or 700 being represented so it's got to be equal divisions so equal parts each time going up by the same amount each time so uh, we'd use a ruler and I could perhaps try and make each of these divisions something like this so it's exactly the same distance between each point so i've got one two three four five and i've got six and finally seven that's what i was after and if you measure these that would be the same distance so we've got zero, then we go to 100. You could decide to go up to 200 or 50 or 150 or 175, whatever you want to, but you're just going to go by the same amount each time. I just find 100 easier to work with. So we go 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 and 700 which is over the 604 that we have here. So now we'll take level one. So I could show level one again. We've got to keep the same width or the same distance here as well. So I could have level one here and then I might leave the same gap or a smaller gap in between these two. I'll leave the same gap or no gap at all. So I could go straight into level two here and then level three. Any of them is possible. So oh, I just have decided to leave a gap. And that gap needs to be the same in between each two of them. So if that's the gap here, this one, Got to be the same here as well so we'll see how that looks like in a second so two and then we have g c s c so level one goes up to 250 so that's nice and easy to work with we got to 200 not 300 so it's in between exactly in the middle of 200 and 300. So you'd use a ruler to measure that. 
and to draw the lines as well it's just a bit difficult for me to work with the ruler and a marker at the same time here because the ruler would wipe the marks and then for level two we got to 432 so it's going to go up to 400 but it's more than 400 between 400 and 500 is 450 now i will try and split this or go down a bit so it's going to be under 450 because this is 432 so that's probably around here and if you have lined paper or squared paper that's going to be easier to calculate so you've got to compare it between as we said between 400 and 500 right in the middle is for 450 so 430 means you're going down so that space between 400 and uh, 450 try and split it into five equal parts and go to 430 through that and 432 is just over that but it won't be seen as clearly in here so that is level two and then we've got GCSE which goes to 604 so it's roughly about 600 so I would use a ruler to line this up and go up to the right point to meet this other point here so it's got to be in the same level and then keeping the same gap I'll do the same here and then join these dots so we've actually drawn the bars and you can color them in it can be the same color or different colors or can put lines in them so you can line them if you want okay put dots and so these are level one level two and you see what are they the courses and what are these what do they tell us this is about the number of learners and in terms of a title I'll just put the same title as what we put for the table like number of learners enrolled on level one level two and UCSC maths courses at maths maths so we've included everything um, so that the reader is able to actually read this bar chart and understand what we're talking about and how many and so on and I just want to include a slightly more complicated scenario as well which you could be given so let's suppose you've given the number of learners and that is for a specific year let's say for year 2018 and then you're given some other numbers for year 2019 so you'd include in the table it include another column so let's just add some so that would be the same heading but just year 2019 so let's say we've got 310 and then we've got um, 376 in here we've got um, 600 and 45 over here so what we can do now how can we represent that in a bar chart well, so we'll represent it um, next to each of these bars so level one will have another bar here for level one which shows 2019 so that would be 310 so I'll show that next to 
So I've represented the data for both of the years next to each other. So we've got level one in red 2018 and in blue 2019. So we've got to include the key. That's what we call the key, which shows the difference between the two colors, between the two bars next to each other. So level one going across the two bars because they both, both of them are for level one and then both of these were level two. So the writing must be across the two, the, the width of the two bars and GCSE as well. So then, so we've got, as we said, 250 and you can see a rise in 2019 going to 310. So that's just over 300 and then in level two numbers, we've got 432, and there we see a drop in 2019. And from 2018 to 2019, there is a rise in GCC number of learners. In terms of the title, because we need to include the title, then we'd have something very similar to this, a number of learners enrolled on level one, level two, and GCC maths courses at maths. Mars Maths in 2018 and 19. So we've got to be specific. What is it about? And include the years as well. And we've labelled the two axes as well. So we still have courses just like we had before and number of learners on this side, just like we did when we had only the 2018 data.